What's up, Calc Gang? Welcome back to some dynamics. So let's solve this pretty tricky problem here. So we have a peg at P, and it's traveling along this path given by R is equal to E to the theta. And then uh, if there's a thing, right? There's this holder at O that follows it. So we're given uh, a couple things. At theta is equal to pi over four, our theta dots, our radial velocity is two radians a second, and our radial acceleration, theta dot dot, is equal to four radians per second squared. And our goal is to find the radial and transverse components of the acceleration at theta is equal to pi over four. So our equations for those is the uh, traverse or component, the traverse acceleration, is r double dot minus r theta dot squared. And then our transverse component is equal to this. So basically we have to find these things and plug them in. So we're given theta dot and theta double dot, so we already have those things there. What we don't have is r double dot and r dot, so we need to take the time derivative of the radius a couple times, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So let's start with r, right? Let's start with what we do now. r is equal to e to the theta, but we're looking at e to the pi over four. So e to the pi over four. So let's just keep it like that. So look, how about r double dot? Or how about r single dot, I mean? So let's take the derivative, right? So e to the theta is just gonna be e to the theta. But then we have to attach a theta dot to this. Because theta is not time, if we're taking a time derivative, we have to make sure to use the chain rule to attach the theta and time derivative, d theta dt. So now let's plug in the numbers we know. So first of all, theta dot, we know that that's equal to two at this time. So we have two e to the pi over four. So then let's take the second derivative, right? The second time derivative. So now we're gonna to need to use a product rule. So let's start with taking this first. So it's gonna be e to the theta, and then we're gonna to have to attach a theta dot down. So that's gonna make theta dot squared. And then we're gonna take the derivative of this, and that's gonna be e to the theta, theta double dot. Grab a chair. All right, so let's plug in what we know again. So r double dot is equal to, so theta is equal to, or theta dot is equal to two, so squared is four. So it's gonna be four e to the theta, but we know theta, right? We know theta is pi over four. So pi over four plus e to the pi over four. And then this theta double dot is equal to four because we know that up there. So we can simplify this down to eight e to the pi over four. Okay, so now we know what r, we know what r is, we know what r single dot is, and r double dot. So we can go back up to these equations and solve them one at a time. So let's start with the transverse component. AR at theta is equal to pi over four, right? That's where we want to find it. So our double dot is eight e to the pi over four minus radius e to the pi over four theta single dot squared. So it's gonna be two squared. So it's gonna of course be eight minus four. This is just gonna be equal to four e to the pi over 40. Um, so if you calculate this, you get 8.77 meters per second squared. And that's acceleration and the transverse component. So that's the first part of this problem. Now let's solve the radial component, right? So radial component, let's go use this equation. So it's r, which we found to be e to the pi over 4, times theta double dot, which is 4, plus 2 single theta dot, or single r dot, so 2e to the pi over 4, times theta dot, which is 2. All right, so we have 4 plus 8, so we're going to have 12. Uh, right, this can become 12e to the pi over 4. And then if you calculate that, you get 26.3 meters per second squared for the radial component of the acceleration. And there we go, so those are two answers. All right, not too tricky, it's just about knowing the equations and really setting it up right, you know, taking the time to find each of them first. So all you have to do is plug it in at this point. So yeah, that's how you solve this question. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.